It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 36 wins, 16 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, Donald Cowboy Serrani. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Imagomeda. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, you ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. Round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting they're going to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a uh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet nicely done. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Oh, strong punch there by Cowboy Cerrone. Nice job by Cerrone to attack the body with that kick right underneath the elbow of his opponent. Right underneath the elbow. I mean, he's been hurt with that strike before in his career. He understands how damaging it can be, and tonight he is using it as his tool to try to get the victory. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. He is at, and potentially a critical takedown here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Cowboy Cerrone. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates distance and space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Single collar tie now, and both guys really throwing with authority. 32 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That was a thudding leg kick. Beautiful body just lands right under the elbow. Oh! Trying to kick the leg out. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finishes. Effective punch there by Nurmagomedov. Oh, man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Cerrone's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And he landed the right hand there. Clinch work. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Twenty. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt. Oh, hey. big left hook there. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, let us now get you some replays from that previous round. Big part of the narrative, of course, those devastating kicks to the body. Yeah, he's in the right stance to throw that kick to the body. And you see now his opponent starting to carry his hands really low. Look for him to go over the top. Now that he's got us, he's got him set up the way he wants it. All right, folks, here we go with our okay, next ready? round. And in terms ready? of his output and his efficiency with his significant strikes in the previous round, you can argue that was the best five-minute stretch of his UFC career. Oh, absolutely the best five minutes he has ever had. He was in a zone. Everything he threw was just landing and landing with vicious intent. He's got to feel confident as he gets off the stool at the beginning of this round. All right, single collar tie now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, big punch land. All right, so the lifelong striker, Cowboy Cerrone, showing you his kickboxing acumen here tonight. Nicely done. And on Cowboy Cerrone's kicks, it's not that he throws them blind. They're always hidden. They're always hidden behind some beautiful combination. And tonight, that combination led to that beautiful kick land. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. The unofficial numbers thus far, 82 total strikes have landed for Donald Cerrone. And in terms of the accuracy rate, DC landing at a 59% clip thus far tonight against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Wow, he actually got the takedown. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Close guard, got clipped with the right hand. Cerrone's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. And they both stand up. Oh, collar tie. Nice punch there by Cowboy Cerrone. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder. Nice double leg, nice finish. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Close guard. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. 
All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Cowboy Cerrone. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And they separate. Got the single collar tie. Oh, hit kick blocked, though, by Nermago Meta. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Good exchange there inside. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing one before, now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to... Oh, now he's in trouble. and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion.